Howard Richards is a Mizzou radio analyst. Before that, he was one of the best offensive linemen in the school's history and was a first-round pick of the Dallas Cowboys. Tonight, he's our Sunday conversation as we talk some football after yesterday's Dog Day afternoon in Georgia. We begin with, why only three catches for Luther Burden? Well, Georgia's defense is probably geared to stop Luther. Now, you, you can keep feeding him, and they're going to, I mean, that's where their focus is. They are probably the closest thing to an NFL defense that you're going to see. you got to be able to get your other players involved, you know, because that they're going to give him that attention, but that does provide other opportunities for everyone else. Now, your other players have to be ready to step up when the opportunities come. When the ball comes, they've got to be able to catch those balls. Uh, I, I don't think Missouri did its best in trying to get uh, the ball spread around to those other players. Um, but nothing really surprised me other than, I mean, Georgia did exactly what I expect them to do. They have excellent players on defense. I mean, these guys are NFL ready. They're long, lean defensive backs, uh, and they play well to defend passes, and that's exactly what they did. most encouraging thing may have been the line of scrimmage because wasn't – that the biggest concern, yeah. well, Georgia is going to beat the tar out of you up front. On both lines of scrimmage, Mizzou did okay. They did really well. Um, I was very happy. I mean, protection-wise, look, if you only given up two sacks against this team, um, Brady, you know, he didn't have the best day, but, you know, he didn't have a, a horrible day either. Um, give credit to what Georgia does defensively. But, again, I thought that Missouri, if they were going to be balanced, he had a chance to win, and they were right there in the fourth quarter minus that, uh, uh, the interception to the big lineman, uh, Stackhouse. Um, not sure what, he w what Brady saw. I mean, he tried to feather the ball over the top. I think you got to drill that ball in there. Um, maybe if he does, maybe he gets tipped anyway. But uh, I think you got to be a little, more, uh, a little more creative, especially, and a little more aggressive in the fourth quarter. All right, how about Cody Schrader, who began his Mizzou career seventh on the depth chart, and now leading the SEC in rushing, you think he plays on Sundays next year? He's an absolute stud. Um, you know, I don't know if he'll make an NFL, NFL roster next year, but I do believe he'll get an opportunity to do so. Um, he, he's, he's all guts, all heart, uh, plays hard, gives you his best. He's deceivingly good. You know, he's, he's got a strong lower, lower, uh, lower body. Um, and I think he's another, the other thing about him is you can't get a clean hit on him. He has a knack of eluding tackles, bouncing off guys. And if you don't square up on him, you're not going to bring him down with the first hit. Let's look to the future. Tennessee this Saturday, and Josh Heupel has laid it on Mizzou. Yes. He's laid 260 balls back to back on the Tigers. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this Tennessee team, and how does Mizzou win this game? <laughs> Well, I, I think the Missouri Tigers will be highly upset and, and completely ready for the volunteers when they step on the field, for Oak Field on Saturday. Um, knowing that it could have, could have beaten Georgia if, if things kind of flipped here and there a couple, a couple different times. Same way with LSU. Uh, this team could be 9-0. I mean, let's face it, that's, that's not a mystery here. That, that's a fact. Um, but knowing also that it, it you know, owes Tennessee – uh, it's a tough team. They've really got a really good defense. But uh, I don't think Missouri is, is going to be daunted at all by, uh, by Tennessee coming into throw at all. I don't think they'll be afraid. And I think they're going to be playing with a bigger chip on their shoulders because of what Heupel's teams have been able to do to them the last couple of years. If I tell you Mizzou's going to finish the regular season with nine wins, would you take it or are you going to get greedy and think they're going to win ten? Uh, I, I would take it. Um, but I do believe that 10 wins is not impossible. Uh, I, I, I really do. I mean, given the way that they play Georgia, uh, you played a tough LSU team, uh, knowing that if you tighten up things in a few areas, you've, you're undefeated right now. So uh, playing at home, I think, works in Mizzou's favor against Tennessee and, and in Florida the following week. And you go on the road. Arkansas um, had a nice win on Saturday. But, you know, that's still a, a game that Missouri can win. Winning three straight is not impossible at all. 